Hi Stackers, it's Numa Stacker here and I've made a short video of the process of dealing with NGC. I just thought you'd like to see the kind of things that you need to do to get your coins graded. Um, NGC have quite a, quite a number of different um, grading schemes and uh, this shows the process of creating the invoice so the idea is you go onto the NGC site and you can then add any number of coins within the same grading grade. In this case, we're using the gold grade. Any of those coins and you add them uh, a line at a time, specifying the country, the date of the coin, the denomination, which you need to look up in the, um, in the World Coin Census, whether it's PF for proof or MS for mint state, if there's a variety, and then save it. And you can save any number of lines and any number of coins, and those form the invoice which you then have to pay uh, when you send your coins uh, through to be graded. There are two schedules for grading, and you can see that uh, most coins will obviously be US coins, but um, there's also a world um, grading scheme. The world coin grading is slightly more expensive than the American coin grading and the most usual extras are for a, uh, a special slab which is scratch resistant, maybe for imaging uh, and maybe for a large uh, slab if it's a, a two ounce or greater coin up to a kilo of silver I think can fit into those. So as for the financial side, everything's available in the NGC console under Submission Tracking. So click on Submission Tracking and then you see all the um, submissions you've previously made, how many coins and what dates, and it'll show you the status of each shipment. Uh, and you can see that change over the, the few days that NGC has it. Looking at this particular shipment that I had for the last unboxing, you can see all the coins there together with their denomination and then right at the end of the process you'll actually see before they send it to you you'll see the grade they've assigned for each coin. So just to recap, to, uh, to be able to submit coins for grading at NGC you need to either be a member of NGC at an associate level which is about $38 a year uh, or I think you can get submission privileges if you're a member of ANA uh, and that may work out better for some people. Um, or you can submit coins through your local coin dealer, um, depending on whether they've got an affiliation with NGC or PCGS or others. Um, so the best thing um, is something I guess you have to work out yourself for your particular purposes. Um, um, it, it, tend, it tends to submit over 10 or 12 coins at a time. So the best thing to do is save up the ones that you want to submit and submit them all because otherwise the postal costs and the handling costs tend to sometimes outweigh the benefits of having them graded. And you need to make sure that you look at the coins very critically yourself to make sure that they will actually get a, uh, a good enough grade to make it worthwhile paying the grading fee which can be quite high, uh, particularly if you choose some of the extras like the uh, the non-scratch case and imaging, uh, you know, for a gold coin with all the extras, you can easily pay forty-five or fifty dollars to have a coin graded. So that may not be worthwhile for some of the very small fractionals. So you've got to make sure that you relate the cost of the grading to the overall cost and quality of the coin. Um, well, I hope you found that short video useful, uh, and uh, maybe motivated you to try grading some of your coins. Um, please feel free to comment and, uh, and like and subscribe and share. So thanks very much guys.